السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو وزڈم انٹرنیشنل اسکولس ڈیجیٹل کلاس روم فار میتھمیٹکس سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن کنسٹرکشن چلڈرن اوکے سو سی یو آر فیملیئر ود دس یو ہیو لرن لٹل بٹ آف کنسٹرکشن ان یور جونیئر کلاسز رائٹ سی وی آر یو آر فیملیئر ود دس ٹو انسٹرومنٹس دس از دا کمپس اینڈ دس از دا پروٹریکٹر رائٹ سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو یوز دیز ٹو سو یو نو بی ریڈی ود یور کمپس اینڈ یو نو انسرٹ اے پینسل لائک دس اینڈ بی ریڈی ود اٹ اینڈ آلسو ہیو اے پروٹریکٹر ود یو okay and of course a scale also so now we are going to learn how to construct a uh, like you know to construct the bisector of a given angle see when, a, when an angle is given you know how an angle is written right i mean how an angle is drawn you have two rays attached like this so this is what is the angle correct so this angle you should you should be knowing how to measure this angle isn't it we use the protractor to measure this angle now we are going to learn how to bisect it bisect means dividing it okay so now see this is the angle you want to divide this into two equal parts like this okay so this is one half the other half is this right so th- that's what is your uh, bisection of uh, an angle so we are going to learn how to bisect an angle okay so for every construction we have to uh, draw uh, i mean write an uh, steps of construction to so let me just tell you how to draw an angle so first let's uh, see how to measure an angle okay so let's say you have a uh, line drawn like this okay and i'm simply drawing an another uh, line uh, let's say you know you have another line just a random angle okay like this see so i have just drawn an angle right now i'm going to see how to measure this so i'll usually use the protractor isn't it that's how we uh, measure the angle so let me just use the protractor for this so see i'm just bringing this protractor over here so look at this this is how i will actually place this uh, point the 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 in middle mid point over here i will just bring it on to the corner of the angle this this is where i will place it okay so now what do i do i'll have to measure the angle so for that i'll have to see see there are two uh, numbers over here see you see there are 0 10 20 30 going inside there are a few numbers and outside the curve also there are few numbers so now the question is which number will you take right will you count from here in the inner one or the outer one so see the line lies over here isn't it the line is over here so you see on the line see this side is the line right so this side where is you should start from the zero so you will follow the inner one okay so 0 10 20 30 so this is somewhere around 30 so this particular angle is 30 degree understood now if i had a line over here let's say i had a line like this now in this case i will if i am asked to measure this angle that is from here to this angle okay if i am asked to measure this angle what do i do i'll have to see which side will i measure now i will not say 30 degree okay because 30 degree is from here to here okay let's say this is a this is b and this is c okay so ang- and this is let's say uh, some d so angle a d b is your 30 degree okay so when i say angle a d b the middle one is what is my angle so the d is what i consider as an angle and i'll have to use a and b so a b a d b so like this a d b a is over here b is over here and d is over here so this angle is 30 and how did i measure i just followed the inner uh, measurement because you know the line lies over here okay the line this side so i'd have to choose the zero which is from this side okay So now if I am asked to find the CDB so C is over here right this side so how will I find this angle CDB so again it's the same D in uh, middle angle but I am supposed to consider the arms C and B right so here what will I do I will see what is where is the zero on the C line this line okay so the zero is on the out, outer curve right so I will use the outer curve to do that so now you count the outer curve so this goes like this and it comes over here which is 150 so I will choose 150 so it's 150 over here understood so this is how you should measure so i know most of you know this but so the for the ones who had confusion with this i have just uh, you know uh, revised it so you should not make a mistake in uh, figuring figuring out like you know measuring the angles using the protractor okay so now we are going to learn how to bisect this angle now an angle is given let's say some cut particular angle is given let us see how to bisect it so let me just you know take an angle just a random angle i'm going to draw okay so let's say i have a line like this and i have drawn another line over here let us say something like this okay some random angle is there so let me write draw, write it as abc 
let me give a name to this a b c see if, as i whenever i do uh, something you know whenever whatever i construct i am going to write the steps of construction too okay so first let's see what we are going to do so i have drawn an angle this angle is given to me now i am supposed to bisect this angle so you know you are going to use a compass for this so you take a compass see this is the compass right so you take a compass and you have a pointed, uh, there is a pointed, a uh, metal pointer over here and a pencil point over here. See, this I will call it as just a pencil and this I will just say, uh, you know, pointed, uh, okay, a point, okay. So, now this needle like a thing, what I am going to do with this needle, I am going to place it over here, okay. So, I am going to place the needle point over here, okay, the needle point over here and with the pencil, I am just going to cut an arc randomly. I am just going to cut an arc like this, just with any radius, okay. You just take, keep it, keep the needle of the compass here and with the pencil you just cut an arc randomly, you just cut an arc like this, okay. Now, let us like you know name this as M and N, okay. Let me name this as M and let me name this point as N, okay. Now, what do I do? I take the compass again and now I measure this, this M N, you know from N to M, you just keep our needle over here and pencil over here and you will get a measurement right this measurement so you should take more than half of it like you know it should be at least more than half of it you should not take the compass measurement very small like you know it, if you keep the end over here the needle over here it should at least you know cover more than half of this okay or you can take it as an equal thing also that is also fine now what do you do with that particular radius you keep the needle on the end and cut an arc somewhere over here like this understood so, when you keep a needle on the end and use the pencil to cut an arc like this, now with the same radius, do not do anything with the compass, just do not without shaking the uh, compass. Now, place the needle on the M and cut an arc like this. So, now it intersects, uh, right, wherever it intersects, this you can name it as some P, okay. Now, join this B and P, understood. So, this is how you bisect it. So, now if you measure it, see if this was some uh, 30 degrees, if you measure this angle and this angle, the little two angles, it will actually be 15 and 15. You can check it, okay. So, what do we do? So, whatever we have done, we are going to write it again. I mean, write the steps of construction. So, see what I have written. First, draw a line BC. So, first we drew a line BC. See, I am drawing the line BC, okay. I name it BC. Then, draw a line AB such that angle ABC is some angle, okay. So, you are drawing some angle over here and you are naming it as ABC. So, this is A. So, when I want to call this angle, I will actually say ABC, okay. I have to say the uh, the angle, actual angle in the middle, alright. So, now what do I do? Now, taking B as the center, that is keeping the needle on B, I draw the arc cutting AB at M and BC at N. So, this is M and this is N. Now, what do I do? Now, take radius more than half of Mn. So, more than half of Mn or equal to Mn is also fine, okay. You just take the measure this and then keeping N and M as radius. See, with M and N as radius as center, what you do? You draw an arc to intersect each other at P. So, from here you cut an arc, from here you cut an arc, okay. First, you place the needle of the compass on the N and cut one arc. Then you take the compass and move it to M and cut an arc, okay. But you are not, you know, pressing the compass. You are not supposed to disturb the radius of the compass, okay. Then after that, you just name this as some P and you join this BP. So, that is going to be your, actually, you see, this ray PB is the required bisector of angle ABC. Understood? So, this is the basics, like how to construct, how to divide the angle. So, dividing an angle is called as bisection, okay, bisecting the angle, okay. So, now we are going to see how to construct a perpendicular bisector. Now, you know the meaning of bisector. Bisector means, you know, dividing it into two equal parts. Now, what do you mean by perpendicular bisector? So, when I say perpendicular, it means it cuts 90 degrees, right? Perpendicular is like, you know, the angle between the two lines is 90 degree, okay? So, now if a line segment is given, how we are going to see how to construct a perpendicular bisector. So, you are dividing it into two equal parts and also it is perpendicular. Okay, and here the angle is not given, a line segment is given, okay. So, let us say you have a line. So, let me draw a line, alright. So, let us say I have AB, okay. So, so now what do I do? See, that is what I have drawn here, taking, now AB is the line given to you. Now, you have to use your compass again. Take the compass 
measure this AB, not the scale, okay? I'm talking about the compass. You keep the needle over here and see, you can uh, roughly, you can approximate that this is the half, right? You should take the compass, you know, extend it out above this, okay? That is, it should be more than half of AB. So, you know, you just widen the compass more than this, okay? You just take the compass more than this, all right? Now, after this, what do you do? You take the uh, uh, compass, keep it on the A and cut an arc. Cut an arc on top one and at the bottom one, okay? So, remember it should be greater than a, a half of AB. If it is less than, it will not uh, give you their answer, okay? You can't draw it. It should be greater than or you can have the equal to also. That's also fine, okay? Then with the same radius, okay, without disturbing the compass, you keep it, keep the needle on the B and you cut an arc on this up one and down one, okay. Now you join these two, okay, join these two points. So, this will be your perpendicular bisector. So, if you see, if you measure these two lines, you know, if you have taken 10 centimeter for AB, you are going to get a 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter. Also, if you use your compass here, you will actually get, I mean, if you use your protractor here to check the angle, you will get 90 degree, okay. So, this is how you do the per perpendicular bisector, okay. So, now I am going to show you how to write the steps of construction. Taking A and B as center, first you can draw the line, okay. Draw line AB, draw line AB, then taking a and b as center so it's why do i say center because you know i am keeping the needle on a and b and drawing the arc right it's like a circle but i'm not completing the circle i'm just drawing a part of the circle so that's why i say that a and b as center and radius more than half of ab okay if it is less than half of ab you know what will happen if you have a line like this if you take less than half okay if you take the compass distance as so much you will get the arc over here and here and this from b when you draw you will get like this it will not intersect each other. So, that is the reason why we take more than half, okay. Now, so more than half of AB, draw arc on both the sides of line segment, up up one and uh, down one, okay. So, from both A and B, you have to do it. So, the point of intersection could be named as P and Q. So, they are just naming this as P and this as Q and then they are joining P and Q and it intersects the AB at M. So, this intersection is written as M. So, now if you measure AM will be equals to MB. Okay, and if you see the angle, angle P M B will be equals to 90 degree. Okay, now uh, let us move to construction of 60 degree. Okay, so now we are going to learn how to construct an angle 60 degree. See, so what all we have uh, uh, learnt, we have learnt how to bisect a given angle. If an angle is given, how to divide it into two parts. If a line is given, how to draw a perpendicular bisector of that, right? You are dividing the line into two equal halves plus you are drawing a 90 degree, uh, a, a line which is, you know, perpendicular to this given line, right? So, now we are going to learn how to construct an angle 60 degree at the initial point of a given ray. Now, let us say you have a line drawn, okay? Let us say you have a line, uh, okay? Say you have a line AB. Okay. So let us say this is AB. Now I want to draw 60 degree angle from here. What do I do? I will take the compass. See, I am not using a protractor. Okay. See, if it is using a protractor, you can just keep the protractor here and you can measure it, right? And draw the angle. No. But then we are going to use uh, the compass to do it. So what do we have to do? We will take the compass, we will keep it on keep the needle on A with any radius okay just take randomly some radius and draw an arc like this okay to cut this and you know just a part of a circle you know you randomly take a, a thing and you draw an arc like this understood now what do you do after this you with the same radius don't do disturb okay once you have fixed a radius you're not supposed to disturb it so with the same radius now you name this as something okay you can name this as m all right now from here you cut an arc with the same radius, whatever you had taken no before, the same radius you cut an arc on the already drawn arc like this, understood? So now you join these two, from A you join the arc, uh, the arc which is intersection no, so this you can name it as N and this is your C, see? So this angle C, A, B if you measure, it is going to be 60 degree for sure, okay? So what do we do? You draw a line AB 
just ran random a b okay whatever is given sometimes in question they may say draw a line a b of 5 centimeter 6 centimeter so you'll have to draw it accordingly okay if, and if they say just you know draw an uh, angle 60 degree you don't have to worry you can just take any uh, measurement okay for the line now you take a compass with any radius you cut an arc see you may take a radius like this your friend may take a radius like this so you may take this such a big uh, um, uh, thing okay big arc that's okay not a problem with the same bigger arc you are supposed to keep it over here and cut an arc over here understood and then join it you are going to get the same 60 degree anyways okay the only thing you should do is be careful with the radius don't disturb the compass once set it should not be disturbed okay so now see let's look at the steps of construction draw a line ab with a as center and any radius draw an arc to intersect ab at m all right so you are taking you are just drawing an arc randomly and it is intersecting the a b at m you are just naming it okay if you want you can give some other alphabet also so accordingly you should change the steps of construction words okay now and then draw an arc on the so now with m as the center now you keep the needle on m and cut an arc on the already previously drawn arc so see that's what i have written um, with m as center and same radius draw an arc on the previously drawn arc and name it as n okay now draw ray ac passing through uh, m n sorry right it's passing through n so you have to draw a radius uh, draw a ray um, ac it should pass through the n so we just marked the n right here so it should just pass through this n okay and then yeah, this angle CAB if you measure you will get a, a 60 degree of it okay so that's how you uh, draw a, so this is very important okay so these three things how to do this is the basics okay Be using these things only we are going to do many more uh, angles okay so how to draw how to bisect an angle you should know how to draw a perpendicular bisector you should know and how to uh, draw a 60 degree angle you should know okay so these three things using these three things you can actually construct construct many angles any angle actually if i give you any angle you will be able to do it the only thing is you should know how to divide an angle and how to draw a 60 degree and how to draw a 90 degree okay so these three are very important so i want you all to write these draw these constructions see i have written constructions and steps of constructions for all these three whatever i have written you have to write it in a geometry classwork neatly write the chapter name and everything and write these three basics uh, neatly in your geometry classwork okay so uh, inshallah in the next video i will uh, explain uh, the exercise problems okay exercise constructions all right so see you uh, in the next video inshallah allah Hafiz. thank you